Hello everyone, welcome back. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be with all of you again. <clears throat> so, um, in today's video, uh, the purpose of today's video is uh, quite a few things. So first I want to share the new paper pumpkin kit with you. So those of you who subscribe to the paper pumpkin monthly card kit, um, I want to put those cards together with you. Also, I have received so many beautiful cards in the mail and I want to share those with you. So be sure to stay and uh, watch and see those. And then also, my gosh, I go on vacation. I come back and Stampin' Up's got all this stuff going on. But the big thing is this is their sale. So I'll talk about the big sale going on. All right, for those of you who have just found me for the first time, my name's Christina Reese. This is Creating with Christina. And I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on my Facebook group. Facebook page, I'm sorry, <laughs> here on Facebook, Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, and then um, at 9.30 a.m. Central Time, so I know that's kind of early for my West Coast girls and people, I forget, I do have guys <laughs> who like to make cards too, and um, I'm just real excited to be back. I was on vacation last week in Hot Springs, Arkansas, um, got to see a lot of beautiful waterfalls, did some hiking, uh, went to a botanical gardens, uh, it was really beautiful, so... Ah, uh, we are back. All right, let me switch to my uh, next screen. Here we go. And the first thing I want to do is share some of these beautiful cards, okay? So um, some of them were for a few weeks ago, all right? And I've, had, I've not had a chance to share them, and I just want to quickly go over all these cards. So this first one is from Terry, and is this just gorgeous? I love this. She heat embossed it and then colored it. Um, sending love and light. Isn't that beautiful? So thank you, Terry. And let me make a pile here. There we go. Okay. And then this one is from Stephanie McKnight, and she always makes really fancy cards. Look at this. Thank you, Stephanie. Oh, and I forgot I need to pull up my discussion so I can see all your wonderful comments. Here we go. Yay! And there we are from Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie. And this one is from... Oops. I love that. Barbara. Barbara Freeman. Thank you. Look how beautiful hers is. Fibers of our lives. A beautiful palm. So gorgeous. Thank you. Then I have Colleen Walker with Simply... Isn't that pretty? I love her color choice. It's just gorgeous. Just a nice, sweet note. Thank you. And then this one is from Patty. Thank you, Patty. I just, isn't it just beautiful? I just love sharing these cards with you guys. Y'all are so awesome. Lisa, heartfelt thoughts. Oops, and then a little note, a handwritten note in here from her. Thank you, Lisa. And a little, little heart right there, too. <laughs> And then Sue, love that, so pretty. And make sure I'm seeing all the comments here. There we go, yeah. Where was I? Jennifer, Jennifer Crabtree, thank you. Wishing you comfort and hope, thank you so much. And this one is from Jenny, thank you. Or Jeannie, actually. I think that's Jeannie. Yeah, Jeannie. Thank you so much. So pretty. I'm trying to let y'all see these. Oh, I love this. We're going to be using the New Horizons. Uh, the paper pumpkin is the New Horizons. Uh, they're, and the paper, designer paper coordinates with it. And so, and I, of course, the deer in the field. Uh, Grassy Grove. Love this stamp set. So beautiful. Thank you so much. What else do I have here? This one's from Sheila. Oops. It's a bookbind fold. I love fancy folds. Isn't that pretty? Those tulips just do it all, don't they? You do, it's like the paper uh, does all the work for us there. It's just beautiful. And what do I have here? I have lots of cards, you guys. If y'all be patient while I go through these, I just thought you all would like to see them. Isn't that beautiful? And that's from Katie. Thank you, Katie. And this one is 
from Cindy. Thank you. Look how pretty that is. I just love seeing the retired products that are coming in. Um, you know, I, I work with all the new stuff all the time, but um, I know all of you like to use all your products, and so it's really great to get to see some of the older product that I haven't seen in a while. So pretty. Oh, I love this. I have not done a lattice fold in a while. So pretty. So I'll have to share with those, um, those of you who don't know how to do that. I'll do that on a fancy fold Friday someday. Uh, that's from Frida. Thank you so much. And this one's from Judith. So pretty. And like I said, I mean, look how the paper just does all the work. Oh, and this is a fancy fold. Check this out. In that, whoops, it goes this way. <laughs> Isn't that great? And then she put a Bible verse in here. I just love that. Enjoy the day, compliments of God. Isn't that great? I love that. And the pretty paper on the back. So thank you very much, Judith. And what else do I have? <laughs> thank you. Kim says, thank you for sharing the cards. Well, I just, I can't hog this all to myself. It's so pretty. Um, oh, and this one, yes. Yeah, so this is from Barbara Drake. And this is a card she is making, if I can remember. She wrote this beautiful note. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, Barbara. And she was saying that she was... Um, this was a stamp set that I had given her um, as one of the free giveaways, and it came in perfect um, assisted living facility where her daughter works for Mother's Day, and so they're making these cards. Aren't they? Isn't that beautiful? I just love that. Thank you so much, Barbara. And what else do I have? Oh, okay. This one is from overseas, and but it doesn't say. It says uh, airmail, and it is from uh, Linda Prickett, but... Uh, Linda, I'm not sure what country you're in. I was thinking Australia, but I just can't remember. But anyways, it didn't have it on here. I was like, hmm, oh well. <laughs> I could look your name up, of course, and find you, but I was just going through these cards so quickly. And this is for my card uh, godmother. I love my fairy card, my fairy card mother. <laughs> she always sends me holiday cards. I love it. Thank you so much, Bobby. You're so awesome. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And she even put, uh, I love leprechauns, a little, little leprechaun there. I just love, I uh, love holiday cards. Thank you. Okay, where are we? We're on Betty. Betty, thank you, Hayden. Beautiful sympathy card. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, um, those of you who um, are friends with me on Facebook, actually it's public, so even if you're not friends with me, you can see it, but my the memorial service for my mother and father we did Saturday and... Um, Anyway, so you could watch that if you want to, but we're uh, the five of us. I have three brothers and a sister, and we put on the memorial service for my parents. So, and here we go from Vicki Lynn. Thank you. And what else do we have here? We have Sylvia. Another one where she's letting the designer paper do all the work. I love the pink and white stripes with the roses. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Thank you. And we're almost done. Just a couple more. Kathy, thank you. Kathy, of course, sells me her... Uh, she, Kathy, for those of you who are not familiar with Beauty Counter, Kathy sells Beauty Counter. So if you need a consultant, uh, call her up. And a beautiful thank you card from her. Thank you. And who else do I have here? Love that pineapple stamp. Just a note. And this is from... Uh, is that Nina... Nia, I'm not sure. Um, anyways, give me a shout out if you're watching um, and let me know how to say your name, sweetie, because I just, I want to thank you personally. Oh, and she wrote a Bible verse down here. I love Bible verses. So beautiful. Thank you. And last but not least uh, for this round <laughs> from Bobby again. She is so wonderful. Bobby, thank you so much. Thank you all of you for the beautiful cards. I just um, really appreciate them. They're so pretty, and I'm so glad I get to share them with everyone on the Facebook page. All right, so uh, what I said I was going to do today was paper pumpkin, okay? Now, what is paper pumpkin? For those of you who do not know what paper pumpkin is, and this month's came in a beautiful box, and these boxes are great. You can cover this part up with uh, designer uh stuff and use it as a gift box. It's a nice sturdy box. Anyways, what Paper Pumpkin is is Stampin' Up's monthly card kit. Okay, now I do a personal card kit that I sell through PayPal and I create myself and everything, but um, this one 
and also March, they always send an extra special stamp set because it's their birthday and they send an extra stamp set. So this is a thank you. We are grateful for all our Paper Pumpkin subscribers. So we decided to include not one, but two stamp sets this month. And then they give you an idea of how to use this stamp set. So that's the extra. But what Paper Pumpkin is, is every month they give you all of the material you need to create the project. Now they call it a project kit because it's not always cards. Most of the time it's cards, it's not always. And they are working with the New Horizons uh, suite, so it coordinates with New Horizons. And they tell you what you need, uh, sorry, what you need for each card and then the instructions for the three cards. And what I like to do every month um, and I have it in the past two months, but what I like to do is go through the kit and make the cards real quick with you. Stampin' Up! does a one, but it's with music in the background, and uh, it's, they have it on fast forward. So um, I like to do it again for you all and kind of talk my way through it and kind of share with you some tips and uh, tricks along the way. Anyways, you always get a stamp set and you always get an ink spot. In your kit so that there is worth the $20 um, our paper pumpkin is $23.50 and that includes the shipping um, you can purchase it either subscription that way every month it just comes out of your account and they send you the box and you don't have to worry about it or you can do a prepay you can do one month prepay three months six months or 12 months and how that works is you you buy the kits so you do like the three month prepay, you send the money in and then they email you with a special code and you go in every month and redeem your card kit with that code. So um, there's a few more steps doing it prepay, but that's for people who uh, are not comfortable with subscription, online subscriptions. Anyway, so you always get that. You always get some kind of embellishment and this one comes with um, this one eighth ribbon and this bling, you always get adhesive. These are uh, Stampin' Dimensionals and glue dots. You always get uh, the die cuts, all of the, the labels and the pieces that you need to create. The card already pre-cut for you. You just punch it out. And then you, in this case, we're doing cards. So we have the card bases. And like I said, this is the New Horizons uh, Whoops, got out of the camera. I apologize. The New Horizons. Isn't that beautiful? Got out of the camera again. <laughs> there we go. And look how pretty these envelopes are. I love it when they give us special envelopes too. So that is what's in the kit. And then the box and has tissue paper. And you can use the box for whatever you need. Okay, so that's all that. Now, we're going to do this real quick. So I'm going to put this to the side. And I'm going to take out this paper. This is the paper you'll need. And the first thing you need to do is get the pieces out for each of the cards. So they're labeled right here, one, two, and three, okay? Um, let's zoom in just a wee bit. I'm gonna move me over some. That way you can see just a little, whoops, I'm on the wrong. There we go. I'm trying to zoom in here, there we go. Now you can see a little better, okay. So number one, we need to go to the cards, card bases, and we need the one with the mountain. Okay, there it is. So we need the one with the mountain. All right, and I'm gonna put that to the side. Then you also need a white strip. So here's the white strip. Put that to the side. You also need a color strip. Here it is. Just kind of look through all your stuff till you find what matches. So that was pretty simple. You also need this round thing. I thought I saw those. Here they are. Oops, come on. So here's this round one and the um, kind of grassy thing here. And this is wonderful. This is laser cut and it's. I'm sorry, I'm not in the camera. Uh, laser cut and it's really thick, okay? Really nice. All right, so we have all that, 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 that. Oh, we need a block, we need some ink, we need this stamp, we need some bling, dimensionals, and glue dots. All right, so let's put all this to away. We don't need any more of this stuff. All right, 
And here is our stamp set, and we're using a little note. So where is a little note right here? And of course, you could choose any of these other sentiments that you want. Now, your very first paper pumpkin comes with a block. And the block looks like this, okay? So this is always comes in your kit. Now, if you have other blocks or even the... Um, the Stamparatus, um, I know a lot of my customers like the Stamparatus because you don't have to worry about messing up um, if you don't stamp it just right the first time, you can re-stamp it perfectly if you have it on the Stamparatus. All right, and then the ink spot is real simple. You just cut it open. I love these ink spots. And then, of course, you just use our ink refillers when it runs out of ink and fill it back up so these ink spots last forever. All right, that is just not wanting to cut. Hold on. There we go, I think that did it. Oh, okay. And then I'm just gonna, I don't particularly care for it to be connected, so there we go. Now, now this is Misty Moonlight, you all, are you, uh, the ink refiller for this is gone, okay? I told you we were having a sale, and it's the um, last chance sale. And what that means is the items are retiring, and you have until they're gone a chance to get them. But the ink riller, ink refiller for this color is gone, but the stamp set, the stamp is not gone. So if you like Misty Moonlight, um, you can still order a stamp pad. The markers, um, the blends are actually on sale. Um, the paper, all that is retiring, and as soon as it's gone, it is gone. So that is something you wanna keep uh, be aware of. All right, so there we've stamped it. What else do we need to do? Um, we just need the bling and ink. Now, let's go to our instructions. Here's our instructions. So number one, we need to put glue dots on the back of all of this little bitty stuff here. Um, I advise you to get um, a piercing tool or a pair of tweezers to pick up these glue dots. Um, it's just easier to get it on there than with your finger. Though you can do it with your finger. And just put the glue dots wherever. You can find a place for them. And that looks good. Then also, what else needs a glue dot? This needs a glue dot. And this round thing needs a glue dot. And they just have a couple of glue dots on here. There's not much room to put them. Put one there and put one there. There you go. Now you've got your glue dots on there. Next thing we're going to do is attach all this to our card base. So the first piece is the orange strip. All right. And just take the backing off of your glue dots. There you go. How are we doing? Oh, no, Barbara Drex says she hadn't even gotten her paper pumpkin kit. Oh, no. Oh, you got a delay email. Okay. Well, you'll save this video, and when you get it, you can do it with me. <laughs> yeah, I like doing this. So they have it where it's um, coming, the, the lake and the grass are kind of coming together, and it's sticking out to the side there a little bit. All right, so that's where they put their orange strip. Then they put the grass down. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. And this is going to extend past the orange strip, but not all the way to the bottom here. So kind of halfway, a little to the right. So like right, yeah, right where it hits the tip of that mountain. Okay, and just press that down. There we go. And then this piece is going to go right on top of that. And it looks like they just have a little bit of this bottom 
curvy part kind of sitting right there. All right. Now that we have our layering done. And another thing that's really fun about working with the paper pumpkin is this is a great um, kind of a design for you to remember for another card, okay? So you're creating another card and you have some designer paper back here. You may put a little strip of color here. You may put, you know, some flowers or grass or some kind of a long thing here and then a circle on top. Just follow the, the um, kind of make it look like a sketch in your mind and follow the pattern. All right, now that I've got that done, I want to put dimensionals on my uh, sentiment, okay? So I'm going to turn this over, and where are my dimensionals? I'm going to save that one and get some dimensionals that I'm already using. And there, whoops, my table's in the way. Whoops, that one's used, that one's used. Maybe I've used all my dimensionals. Nope, here they are. Okay. I try to just use one sheet at a time. <laughs> go and how we doing got that and last but not least after we've put our sentiment on here now check this out how they do this is they take the corner right here and they're putting it just past the circle but not all the way to the end some of the mountain is showing there okay and then it extends past this one over here so that's kind of how they have that looking. There we go. Sorry. Keep getting out of the camera. And finally, here's this bling. I love this. And these are the... Um, oh, heavens. I've drawn a blank. Uh, iridescent gems. We sell iridescent gems. And this is just a, a little package of them. So you could get your iridescent gems out. There we go. And just use your New Horizons... Sample, uh, sweet stuff and keep creating more and more of these cards now that they've given you an idea with this one. And so they put this bling here and this bling, it looks like it's kind of here. You don't really have to follow them exactly, put it wherever you want, but I like following it. It's just, I think it's a little easier. And then you are finished with the first card. Isn't that beautiful? I just love the New Horizons designer paper. It's so pretty. Okay, so that's card number one. Let's do card number two. Pull all this out of the way. Okay. And come back to our... There it is, down here. And see what we need for card number two. All right, so card number two, we need... Let me pull this... Yeah, you kind of can't see it because I'm in the way. There we go. We need this card base. So let me find that card base. Here it is. There we go, we got that card base. We need, um, let me just pull all this out. We're going to need this orange piece here. There it is. And we will need this long green grassy, or it's more leafy than grassy. Okay, woo. Oh, I'm pulling, ah, this is double layered. Yikes. It's kind of getting all tangled now. All right, hold on. There we go. All right, save that other one for the other card. There we go, we got that one. And then we need the yellow one that's next to it. And like I said, these are laser cut. They're so easy to pop out. Okay, we also need this kind of a Misty Moonlight zigzag print. Joe uh, Joy says need paper and more. The paper is so beautiful. Hey, yeah. As a matter of fact, you guys, the last chance sale um, on today's blog post, I am putting um, all of the paper that's on sale. I'm listing it on the blog post, so you just have to click it. Anyways, you'll see when you go to the blog post later today. Um, I've got all that out for you. All right, let's double check. We need the thanks. We need some bling, the spot. All right, so we're finished with all of the die cut stuff and card bases. So let me move that out of the way and pull this to the side, this to the side. And let's get the correct sentiment. So I'm gonna clean off this stamp, okay. 
and get out the thanks. Or you could do the hello. I kind of like the hello too, but actually, let me see if they're using hello on another one. Oh, no, they're not. I'm going to use the hello. I think that's prettier. There we go. I'm switching it up. That's the fun about this. You can just kind of do whatever you like. All right, so get that wet and close that off. And how they're doing this, let's turn to the directions. Here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is... Put the glue dots on everything okay so let's get here and so we'll need glue dots on the back of this one glue dots on the back of this one glue dots on the back of this one and this one but not this one this one's probably going to go up on dimensionals all right so let's get all that and get my glue dots out and get my tweezers and of course if you have a tape runner or liquid glue that works too it's just it's so, the space, I mean, it's so intricately cut that liquid glue may squish out and make a mess, and the tape runner is just a little fat. So, um, just be wary about that when you're doing that. Um, but I know some people just don't care for glue dots because they're so time-consuming, and they do take a little bit of time, but... What's the fun of making it, right? <laughs> okay, and yeah, I'm just kind of following where they put glue dots. That way I don't have to think about it. And they just kind of go across this piece here. There we go. And this piece also. Okay, let's um, talk about our sale again. So, like I said, it is a last chance sale and why we're having it. We are having a last chance sale because we're getting a new catalog. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, if you have ordered from me in the past six months, you will get a catalog, okay? But if you, um, and that uh, um, ordered from my shop, okay? My card kits... If you have been ordering for my card kits, but not actually from stampinup.com, the Christina shop there, um, that's different, okay? But what I do is on my shop, I just go through and, okay, I missed a piece. I missed a piece, hold on. Hold everything, I forgot this orangey piece. I was going to look at how to, that down. I was like, wait a minute, I'm missing something. Okay, sorry about that. All right, one more time. So if you have ordered from the actual shop, you know, and use the host code, um, ordered online, or whether you use the host code or not, doesn't matter. As long as you've ordered, what I do is I go to the computer and I put in the parameters for the last six months and I hit search and it pulls up all of my customers who have ordered from me with, and I then I click mailing selector and what it'll do is i it will purchase a catalog and ship it to you from me and this is a complimentary catalog i'm sending you because it's a thank you to you for shopping with me now i would do the whole year but that gets kind of expensive and i just i want to make sure um i'm not send i'm just not sending catalogs to people who aren't going to use them but and, and of course if you uh I have had two people tell me already, please don't send me a catalog. I already get them from somebody else. Um, I, that, I would appreciate that because, you know, um, they do cost. I have to pay for shipping and the catalog. But if you want a catalog and you're not sure if you've shopped with me in the last six months, just shoot me an email and I'll make sure you're on the list, okay? Well, with all that being said, um, with all that being said, we're going to be getting rid of a lot of items because we have a new catalog coming in. So that's why we have the last chance sale. So a lot of stuff is going to be retiring. And when you go to the online shop, it'll show you. If you're trying to buy something, it'll say retiring soon or no longer available, not orderable because it's sold out and they're not continuing it. So they're not going to get any more. 
Um, so you really need to pay attention to that. Um, while I'm talking, I'm not paying attention. This leafy piece goes down first. Okay, right here on the edge. <laughs> there we go. And then this piece goes over it like that. Now the yellow piece goes down. <laughs> there we go. Christine says, sorry, she hadn't ordered in a while. Oh, I totally understand, Christine. Um, yeah, it, it's hard. It's like, I, yeah, I know we want to be able to buy all of everything, but uh, we have to be realistic with our budget. So I totally understand. But if you want a catalog, you be sure and tell me, and I'll let you, and I'll send you one. Okay, now, so we've done green leaves, then we've done the orange, now we're doing the yellow leaves, and that just kind of goes there. And notice how this layer looks right here. Our next piece is this green zigzag piece. There we go. Oh, and also today's email is going to have your exclusive card tutorial. Remember, those of you who are on my email list, I like to... Uh, send you a special card tutorial that no one else gets okay i don't do it on my youtube i don't do it on my facebook i don't do it anywhere the only place to get that tutorial is from my newsletter so that is my thank you to you guys all right so i've got that piece whoo one more piece and nope we're ready to stamp now okay so hold this this blue piece is going to be attached to this piece and then it's going to be popped up on dimensionals so Hold off on all that for a sec, and let's get our hello and our, and I like to try to, sometimes it has like um, stuff from the factory, and it makes the ink beat up. Ah, oh, that looks pretty. Okay, I'm kind of rubbing it, tapping it. Wow, that's nice. That's going to be nice and dark. <sighs> Give it a little breath. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. I love it. Okay, hello. And now we're going to put the dots on the top side of our blue strip. Not the back side, the top side. Okay, where my glue dots go. And then that way it'll stick to the orange. And you also want to make sure you're putting it where the orange will stick to it. So don't put your glue dots way over here. Put them more in the middle. Now we're going to put dimensionals on the back, and we'll put them here, and here, and here, and here. There we go. And now this is going to center... Ooh, right oh no it's not it's gonna so this corner right here is gonna fall down into this white area right there okay let me just kind of make sure it's lined up before you press it looks good voila so pretty nope not voila yet what are we missing bling love me some bling okay where are we gonna put some bling i like putting the bling actually on the tag so you really see it Okay, they have it kind of everywhere, but whoops, that one popped. Um, yeah, I'm going to put one there and one up there. I'm going to do an odd number. Well, I guess that's stuck. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Hello, isn't that pretty? I love it. Okay, that was card number two. We're almost done. We're going to do card number three now. All right, so let's get back to the list so like i said here uh this page right here it's kind of in the back and step number three this one we need this beautiful watercolor paper 
Okay, we got that. And this is another, uh, all three of them are portrait um, direction. This one, we need some ribbon and it'll tell us how much in a minute. I'm just gonna pull the, the ribbon out. Uh, we need the mossy green strip. Pull all this. All right, so that's this one. It's more olive green. Come on, oh, don't tear it. There we go. Then we need a, two of the mountains. So we need the blue mountain and the dark mountain. Okay, so we have both of those. Is that it? The ribbon that, the, oh, this white piece. Where's that white piece? Here it is. Oh, it's embossed. Oh, how cool. Okay. So this white uh, piece is embossed. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see that. See how cool that is? Isn't that nice? I love these card kits. Everything's done for you. You just have to pull it together. Oh, and this tag, this white tag, here it is right here. That's it. And the where you putting I will always be here for you is the sentiment they chose. Let me see what else we have. We have thinking of you. I like that. Oh, doesn't quite fit though. Thanks. Ooh, thanks fits. I think I'll do thanks. Um, yeah, and then here's I all I'm always here thinking of you. But I'm gonna change this up and do the thanks that was supposed to be on the other card. All right. And I need my stamp cleaner. Yeah, Barbara says she loves that hello. I do too. I love that script. Okay. Okay. There we go. And my ink. All right. Got my ink. Now, find the directions. Should be this last one. Yes, it is. Here it is. All right. First thing first, we're going to be putting uh, glue dots on everything. So let me pull out my mountains and the green strip and the embossed piece. Now the embossed piece, you can tell which is the front and which in the back. The these V things are coming up out of the card, so you want to turn it over. Okay. And we need my tweezers, here we go, and my glue dots. I'm gonna quickly put these on here. All right, we're gonna go one, two, three, oops, come on, four, and one in the middle for good luck, five. And then on the mountains, we're gonna do in the corner, and kinda in the middle, and what are my fingers sticking to that? And then down in this corner. All right, and then the little mountains. I'm gonna do this little piece here. And then in the center there. And on the end here. Okay, and this last one, this green piece. Just three of them. One in the middle and one on the other end. All right, now I've got all my glue dots on. Love it, love it. Let's put these pieces onto the card. So first one they they tell us to put on is this piece, okay? So let's take off our covers. Okay, and it looks like, and if you, you look at their picture here, so you can tell they're kind of close to the edge there, a little bit of space there, not very much at the color at the top, but you can kind of gauge about how much from the top we're going. So uh, kind of close to the edge, a little bit more down here, a little up there. All right, that looks good. That's the first piece. Then it looks like we're going, now kind of come up to it and look, is, did they put the green down first? Oh, it looks like the mountain and the green are bumped up next to each other. All right, so let's do the mountain one first. Okay, 
Okay, and then what I do is, once again, I'm going to look at the card here, and I notice that where that orange and that green kind of are coming together, that's where they're putting the mountains, and the mountains extend past into the white part of the card right there. All right, so I come over here, and I look, and I see the orange and the green right here. Okay, so that's about where it's going, and it extends yep into the white so that's kind of how I decide where it goes um, just looking at the picture that they give then it looks like this green piece kind of bumps up next to it okay and it looks very centered so I'm going to come in here just about right there yep Right. And then this piece goes on top. Okay. Is it centered? It sure is. It's centered. And I have it overlapping just a little. They don't, but I like, I think it looks better overlapped. All right, we have that done. Now, what do we need to do? We need to stamp. Okay, so here's my car, my thing here. <clears throat> I've noticed on the past two, it's been kind of bub uh, beady. The ink has kind of been beating up a little bit. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an eraser, just a regular old-fashioned eraser, if I can find my eraser. Here we go. Just a regular eraser. And I'm going to rough up. not rough up, but try to get some of the, that chemical stuff from the factory um, off of there, okay? I'm not sure if that's what's making it beat up or not, but we'll see how this works. Okay, now I gotta clean the stamp where I've got rubbery eraser all over it. Okay, let me see where it all kind of came off there, good. Now let's see if the ink will not beat up this time. Okay, it's still kind of beating up a little bit, but not near what it was. Okay. And it just fits in there, so you kind of have to be careful. There we go. Oh, Dana says her paper pumpkin hasn't gotten here either. Oh my goodness. Oh, and you're welcome, BJ. <laughs> she says, thank you for the birthday card. Yes, I try to send all of my team members uh, birthday cards. Um, I try. <laughs> Sometimes they get there late, though. I apologize. All right. Come on. Uh, it's got that plastic covering. There we go. And now to find the end of it. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's such pretty ribbon. I love it because it's like real soft and um, it's not stiff at all. I love it. All right, now what do they tell us? We need 7.5 inches. And if you don't have a ruler with you, they have one right here on the paper. For those of you who didn't notice that. <laughs> so there's seven and a half right there. They do not include scissors, so you'll have to get your own snips. <laughs> Whoops, there we go. And what are we doing with this? We are folding it in half and then putting some glue dots on there, all right? So, see how we do this. We're going to fold it in half. Okay, and get some glue dots. Where are my glue dots? They're hiding. And we're going to put one here. And one here. And, oops, come here. And one here. There we go. Now, whoops. Whoops. 
then we're going to put the sentiment right there. So hold, whoops, it's kind of hard to get the cover off without taking it off of the rib. There we go. not wanting to cooperate come on <laughs> it's sticking to the there we go all right now that I've got that let me fix it again so it's all straight the way we want it oh you know what I kind of put that glue dot pretty far back give a little more room there okay I'm gonna put that right on the edge there we go. Okay, isn't that cool? <laughs> that took a little bit of effort there, but um, I think maybe I would have used a tape runner and just laid the ribbon on there instead. I think that would have been easier, but that's okay. We got it. Now we need some dimensionals here. So where the dimensionals go, and we need one here and one here. Okay. That is not wanting to stick. I hope it will stay. Here, where's our card? Okay, and now we put this over the green part. Oh, okay, I can see why now the mountain needed to be higher. Hmm. Oh, well, we're going to cover up the... Okay. I'm trying to see where this, this kind of a fold of the ribbon kind of goes right there. There we go. All right. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I uh, now I can see why they wanted you to bump that up. I mean, it's only a fraction that I've layered it, but it kind of covered it up with the thanks. But it still looks really pretty in the ribbon there. Oh, I love it. Up oh, bling. Gotta have bling. Almost always forget the bling. Okay, and so they put it up here on the white. So some here, here, kind of like snow, and then one down here. There we go. Now we're done. All right. Well, I hope you liked these cards. Where are they? Here they are. So this was card number one and card number two and card number three, and that came with the March Paper Pumpkin. Now, if uh, March Paper Pumpkin's not here anymore, I'm going to switch over, and I want to share with you the... Change is Beautiful Paper Pumpkin that is available until April the 10th. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this. Um, it is nine cards, heartfelt expressions of support. That means graduation, retirement, new career, maybe a new home, it, maybe if you're moving, kind of a, a milestone in life. Uh, like I said, heartfelt expressions of support are the sentiments. Uh, we can tell that it is probably butterflies <laughs> because of these butterfly ears, but that's the only hint it is giving us. But it does tell us the ink spot, and the ink spot is Melon Mambo. Oh my gosh, I love that pink. It's so pretty. All right, remember, I have also been telling you about the Last Chance sale. There are items in the Last Chance area, 50% off, and the way you get to that, you go to the Stampin' Up! page here, Make sure it says Shopping with Christina Reese. And then <clears throat> when you hover on Sales and Specials right there, you'll see this drop-down menu, and you'll see Last Chance Products. Click on that, and it will take you to all the items that are retiring, and it'll tell you whether or not they're on sale. Not everything's on sale, but a lot of stuff is on sale. And like I said, this week today, I'm sending out a newsletter with... Um, a list of all the paper that is on sale and you really uh, people who love designer paper they hate it when it retires so I'm letting you know ahead of time there's paper that's retiring and a lot of it's on sale so I'm going to share with you what that is also what else I don't want to forget um oh Wednesday is the card challenge you all have had two weeks for the card challenge um it's a ooh, I can't even remember what challenge it is I is it a slimline card? Ooh, I can't remember. Anyways, whatever it is, <laughs> you have to do it on Creating with Christina 
Facebook page. So you go facebook.com forward slash creating with Christina and you'll see the post. It says enter the challenge um, and you'll see everyone's cards there in the comments. Just add a picture of your card. And on Wednesday, I will be drawing uh doing a random drawing to see who wins the prize for the week and we'll have another challenge goal okay you all have a blessed day i'm so happy to be back and i will see you on wednesday bye bye